question for everybody really quick. If you could eat a Zoan devil fruit and turn into an animal, which one? What would you do? Let me know down in the comments. Like, what powers would you want to be associated with you? You know? Let me know down in the comments, bro. Dark Knight Gang in the stack, gang, gang. Yeah, today I'm about to do a video from Too Spooky. You guys said, Brandon, you should react to what the devil fruits are. He's gonna explain what devil fruits are. Watch this, and you'll be convinced 100%. I'm right here, I'm like 95%. Uh, oh, excuse me. So, we're gonna see what's up. This is a 22 minute video, so I'll just cut it into two parts. I'm gonna do half today, half tomorrow, man. I'm ready to hop on into it. I'm ready to see what's up. I'm learning more and more about the One Piece world. It's pretty dope because when I hop into it, I'll have a little bit of knowledge. So it's going to be tight. People are like, oh, Brandon, you're uh, spoiling yourself. I'm not spoiling anything because I don't know any of those people. I have no connections to any of them. So it's just like, okay, I don't remember them niggas' names except Luffy. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to hop into this video, man. Let's go. How's it going, everybody? Too spooky here. When it comes to the One Piece universe, the thing I've always been most knowledgeable about has been the many different devil fruits and how they operate. In fact, I'd even consider it my specialty. Because of that, I decided I'm going to be starting a series where we go over the different devil fruits individually, and really analyze what each fruit is capable of and how they work. But before we can I'm get to them individually, that, I figured it would be a good idea to go over devil fruits as a whole. Yeah, Everything I just want to get from the, the basic knowledge, you know what I mean? Subcategories, weaknesses, and other information surrounding the fruits in general. This way everyone can be refreshed on the information and maybe even learn something that you didn't know before. So in today's video, we are going to be explaining devil fruits. To begin, we're going to be quickly touching upon what little we know about the origins of devil fruits. As far as where devil fruits came from, we have yet to learn anything about their true origin. Aside from Shanks Ooh, mentioning that devil fruits yeah. supposedly came from the sea devil. In the beginning of One Piece, it was insinuated that devil fruits are very rare. So rare, in fact, that most people think of them as a myth until they see the devil fruit powers with their own eyes. Okay. This would, of course, drastically change later on when we are seeing new devil fruits left and right, but this shows us that the vast majority of devil mm. fruits exist within the grand line and remember when i was reacting to uh i forgot what video i was reacting to but it basically looked like luffy turned to like super saiyan 4 he ate a devil fruit huh don't don't the world uh, rather uh, than in the different blues watching. even <laughs> though there seems to be an endless amount of devil fruits at this point we still see examples of people not knowing they exist even That's in my the eyes world. Be for instance she <laughs> well, the people in wano believe no, that the powers faded. received from them are merely sorcery and the women of amazon lily didn't know of their existence either appearance wise the devil fruits come in many amazon different shapes lily and sizes fine. similar to normal fruit but the easiest way to tell them bitch. apart from normal fruit would be that they are generally a different color and have a swirly pattern all over. And when okay. eaten, these fruits apparently taste god-awful. But shortly after consumption, the user will learn what abilities the fruit contained, along with its name. Contrary to popular belief, you don't need to consume the whole fruit to gain its abilities. Instead, only one bite is required for the powers to transfer to the individual who took the bite. It's not possible for multiple people to each take a bite out of the fruit to gain the same abilities. Instead, after the first bite, the fruit just becomes a normal, horrible tasting fruit. In addition to that, it is possible for a devil fruit to exist more than once. But Because, yeah, I was about to say, like, why won't people just take one bite? Fucking put the fruit in the fridge. <laughs> when the when the uh when the effects wear off, just bite it again. But makes the sense. Same time. Okay. When I was a literally thinking that. Devil fruit and obtains its power. That power will not exist anywhere else in the world until the current user dies. When they oh, do eventually snap. die, the devil fruit power will then be reborn into a new devil fruit of the same kind as before, where it can then be discovered by a different person and consumed, repeating the endless cycle. Because oh, many of them. Oh, shit, that's fire. So when you eat a devil fruit, you take on the powers and you keep those powers until you die? And then somebody else can get the powers when you're dead? 
Oh. Roots have existed multiple times in the past. A lot of them have been documented into a book called the Devil Fruit Encyclopedia. We don't know much about the book itself because it has only been shown or mentioned a small handful of times, but we do know that the vast majority of Devil Fruits and their abilities can be found within the pages. However, mm. most of them do not have an illustration to accompany the ability, so it's hard to identify the fruit before eating it. We also don't know how common this book is throughout the one piece world, but we do know there is at least more than one copy. So I'm willing to bet this book is about as rare as finding a devil fruit itself. Before we move on, I should also mention that it's possible for inanimate objects to somehow consume a devil fruit and its abilities as well. The method was discovered by Vegapunk, but details of how this is possible have never been mentioned. Yeah, that all makes sense, but okay. It can happen, I guess. When it comes to classifying a devil fruit, its classification can fall under three different categories. Zoan, Logia, or Paramecia. Zoans are devil fruits that grant the user the ability to transform- So it looks like every bad guy has a devil fruit too, huh? Form ...into some sort of animal or- Luffy probably has a devil fruit, that's why his body is made out of fucking rubber. Mm. The majority of Zoans have three different transformations, which are the human form, which is the individual's original form, the human beast form, which is where the user transforms into a mixture of both the original form and the fruit's respective animal, and mm. then the beast form, which is where the user completely transforms into their respective animal or creature. It is possible for other transformations to be achieved through training or through outside sources, such as Chopper's Rumble Ball, but the average Zoan user only has the three that we just listed. The main strength right. of Zoan type devil fruits is a significant physical strength boost, along so with enhanced Zoan senses type. and any specific abilities granted from the specific animal or creature. Zoans don't exactly have any specific weaknesses, but Zoans they are generally are considered the weakest of the three oh, categories, yeah, well. <laughs> mainly because the majority of them rely on brute strength, and mm. their strength is determined Makes specifically sense. on the strength of the animal or creature the fruit is representing. So if you gained the strength of, let's say, a wiener dog, you wouldn't exactly be able to become a Yonko anytime in the near future. Additional abilities are also achieved on a fruit-to-fruit -fruit basis, so a lot of them are specific to each individual user. But it's also possible to gain extra abilities depending on the animal in question. For instance, if the animal is some sort of bird, the user would also gain the additional ability to fly. I should also mention that if an animal were to eat a zoan fruit containing the abilities of the exact same species, it would give that animal absolutely no new abilities, but oh, okay. all the weaknesses of having but a devil fruit for power. Animal. So this category also comes with a small risk, because a human zoan devil fruit does exist, which was eaten by Chopper, so if a normal human person were to have eaten that That's fruit before happen. Chopper came say. across it, they would have gained a grand total of zero abilities, yeah, yeah. but all That's the normal devil fruit weaknesses. Logia are devil fruits that grant the user the ability to create, control, and transform into a specific element or force of nature. Oh, Depending that on the tight. element or force in question, Turn the user water. is also granted numerous fire. other abilities and techniques surrounding the existing properties of that element or force. Because Logia users are able to transform into their element, so they, they become intangible fire. in the process like I said. and can therefore easily avoid most attacks. Hockey mm. attacks are the only way to truly hurt a Logia user aside from their natural weaknesses, but we'll touch upon those a little bit later. Not all Logia are able to become intangible though, however pretty much all of them can. Logia Devil Fruits are also considered the rarest of the three Devil Fruit categories. Okay. Finally, onto Paramecia. Paramecia so Devil Fruits are a bit harder to outright explain or classify, but okay. basically anything that is not already considered a Logia or Zoan is considered Paramecia by default. Most Paramecia okay. Devil Fruits grant some sort of superhuman ability or power, such as body modification, changes to the surrounding environment, producing oh. a substance, or some other transformations that are not considered Zoan. One thing I want to add before we move on Did to that bit turn her head into a sword? <laughs> yeah. Oh, 
changes this one to the surrounding tight. environment, producing a substance or some other transformations that are not considered. Is that a sword? One that thing I want like to add sword. before we move on to subcategories is that some Fucking of the Paramecia double tar. fruits are very, very similar to some of the Logia double fruits, which confuses Simitar. quite a few people Skimtar. when it comes to I certain know, fruits I classifications. I actually made a whole video discussing the difference between Logia and Paramecia a little while back, and how to tell the difference between the two. I highly suggest you go give it a watch after this video is over to better understand the difference and why certain fruits are classified the way they are. There will be a link in the description, otherwise feel free to give it a watch now and come back to this video afterwards. Damn, we have subcategories of the double I fruits? I should mention we have yet okay. to see any subcategories in the Logia category, so we'll move right to Paramecia. Yeah, it looked like she got both, bro. It looked like she has the wings of maybe like a hawk or something, and she over here turning into... The only subcategory for Paramecia that we know of right now is known as mm -hmm. a special Paramecia. So far, we've only seen one devil fruit that actually falls under this subcategory, which is the Mochi Mochi no Mi. Now, we don't have an exact definition or explanation of what makes a special paramecia a special paramecia in the first place, but it should be known that this particular fruit was originally labeled as a Logia until its classification was changed in the volume release of the same chapter that it was named. From what I was able to deduce, a special paramecia has almost all the same characteristics as a logia. The user can transform their body into their respective substance, and mm -hmm. they can create and control the substance outside of their body. The only oh. two differences from a logia would be that the user is not actually intangible, oh, and instead only appears to be, and the substance in question is not an element or force of nature. I talk a little bit more about special paramecias and how they could potentially operate in my differences between Logia and Paramecia video that I mentioned. Logia sounds tight to me, so bro. So once again, feel free to check but out Paramecia that video for probably the best information on this particular subcategory. Now, Zoans have by far the most subcategories, so we'll go through these one at a time. The first we came across oh, in the series is sword. known as a carnivorous Zoan. Now, carnivorous Zoans so aren't a different much type of different from a regular like... Zoan. But what sets them apart from the latter would be that carnivorous yeah, zoans are generally it. animals that are naturally more predatory by nature, which makes them more dangerous and powerful in different aspects of combat. These animals in particular also usually have different potential weapons, such as very sharp teeth or sharp claws. Two examples of a carnivorous zoan would be the Inu Inu no Mi, Model Wolf, and the Neku Neku no Mi, Model Leopard. But like he said in the beginning of the vi well not the beginning, but as he was talking about Zoans. Zoans sound like the worst devil fruit. Of which are natural predators yeah, you and get like strength or you get something this physical. This bloodthirsty you know nature what I'm also generally carries over I'd to the using themselves in battle, making them a force you don't. See, just think if you could turn to fire. This nigga try to bite me, he gonna bite into some fire. I'll burn your tongue off. Like, you That's know what I mean? The second zone subcategory is you turn electricity? ancient oh, zone. No. Ancient Fire. zones are a much rarer zone type that allows the user to transform into extinct or prehistoric animals. Like We've mammoth. only seen okay. two examples of these so far, which are the Zozo no Mi, modeled mammoth, and mm -hmm. X Drake's unnamed ancient zone that allows him to transform into some sort of dinosaur. So Naturally, as a, a dinosaur, huge mammoth kind of and a dinosaur, ancient zones are physically much bigger and stronger than your average zone. Yeah, that's Kind of like carnivorous zoans, the ancient zoans are also equipped with natural weapons like the huge tusks on the mammoth or very mm -hmm. sharp claws and teeth on the dinosaur. At this given time, not much else is known about this category other than the fact that the animals in question can cause significantly more damage than normal zoans and carnivorous zoans. Question for everybody really quick. If you could eat a zoan devil fruit and turn into an animal, which one? What would you do? Let me know down in the comments. Like, what powers would you want to be associated with you? You know? Let me know down in the comments, bro. Third subcategory mm. is known as a mythical zoan. Mythical zoans are a much, much rarer zoan type. In fact, mythical zoans are considered the rarest type of devil fruit in the series. Mythical zoans allow the user to transform into what so can a, a only be described creature? as creatures found in myths and legends. Easy! I'll turn into mother... I'll turn it into motherfucking Zeus, nigga. Easy! Seen so far <laughs> is the Hito Hito no Mi, Model Daibutsu, and Marco's unnamed mythical Zoan oh, that allows sad. him to transform into a phoenix. 
yes. What's no. most unique about this category is that in addition to gaining that strength boost that every Zoan receives, the mythical Zoans also gain different abilities that make them seem like a Paramecia or even a Logia fruit as well. In fact, Marco's Phoenix fruit has characteristics of Zoan, Paramecia, and Logia all in one, mm. making it what I believe is the most versatile devil fruit in the series to date. We'll probably talk about these two fruits in separate videos later on down the line, yeah, that's but regardless, oh. mythical Zoans are essentially legends brought to life. The final Zoan subcategory is more or less well, in a I'm category of its own, which is the artificial Zoan. Alright, so that's why I'm stopping this video at the artificial Zoan, so tomorrow when I pick it up, I'll know to start from the artificial Zoan. Um, this is actually kind of interesting. Okay, at first when I heard the term devil fruit, I was just like, what? But after getting more research, this is, listen, the reason why I'm doing these videos is to get some knowledge from One Piece to see if this is something I really want to dive into. So far, bro, I'm very interested. I'm not going to lie. But anyway, I'm going to do part two tomorrow. We're going to finish the video. We're going to see what's up about more devil fruits. We're going to gain a little bit more knowledge. But yeah, man, shout out to the gang. See y'all next time. Huh? Peace. <laughs>